They are the brilliant moments in sport, aren't they? And I think um, pride was the word that Virat Kohli used in his post-match match interview. Hi everybody, welcome to Outside Edge. This is definitely the place to be on the back of the first one day international between India and England. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, we'll talk a lot about the England uh, performance with bat and ball, but absolutely right, Maka. I think India played a fantastic game of cricket. Having lost the toss again, there at Kohli, the captain said, well, we've got to win from all positions if we want to consider ourselves the best one-day team in the world. And that's exactly what they've done. Set a very good total, 317 in their 50 overs. It was looking on a well, at one stage, it was looking like they might get to 350. England managed to peg them back with three wickets from Ben Stokes. And as you say, those innings at the end from KR Rahul, 62 from 43 balls and Handy on debut, 58 from 31. He played absolutely beautifully. With me is uh, Kate Cross. Kate, that was a day that really disappointed. I, I felt so up for English cricket, particularly while Bairstow was still out there, after we'd bowled pretty well, sort of recovered our fielding. I thought we're going to win this first game against a brilliant Indian side in their own territory, but no. Yeah, it was a sh you used the word glum, didn't you? And it's such a shame because it was... I think, again, your words for 75% of that game, England were pretty much on top of it. Um, and we saw Roy and Bairstow doing what Roy and Bairstow do best, and it was exciting to watch. And then, unfortunately for me, it was the theme of the series in the T20s, but we just couldn't maintain that run chase and we couldn't time it. Well, we didn't get to a point where we could time it to perfection, but, um, yeah, it was just such a shame, I think, because we'd, we'd done the hard work and we got ourselves into a good position, but India were just too strong today. It was in an interview with Owen Morgan in our... Um following on podcasts that I, I used that 25% thing, the final 25% of the game, when I was talking to Owen Morgan. Uh, Owen's argument is that it's a brand of cricket that England play, um, and he's not going to be critical of it because that's the brand of cricket that has brought them tremendous success and, and the opportunity for very big scores. But I, I just felt that we lost momentum uh, with, with the most experienced players, actually, the senior players, with, with Ben Stokes, Owen himself and Joss Butler. Now, India bowled very well at them. So would you be critical of that or not, really? Um, I think we're always going to be critical. We're critical by nature, aren't we? But I think, for me, I, at the start of the T20 series in particular, you could blame this on lack of cricket. And I think it, that was the kind of innings that England played. It was like a, they've not played for a while or it might be the first game of the series. But we can't use that as, a, as an excuse anymore, I don't think. Um, it, like you said, it was the senior players who went out there and just looked like they didn't quite know how to... It's almost like they were in two minds, which Matt Pryor mentioned in the podcast was kind of hypocritical of what Owen Morgan came out and said in his interview that, you know, they want to be positive, they want to be aggressive. Um, and that for me, there was a distinct lack of intent when new batters came in. And we spoke about how important it was for Johnny Bairstow to keep strike and to keep his momentum going when he's in the 90s and batting so fluently. Um, and yeah, that was kind of halted by the new batters coming in and those wickets that kept tumbling. Yeah, maybe then we need to give some credit to India's bowlers on the back of Owen's comment about, you know, there, there are different ways to rebuild an innings. And today, the way we played reflected the way they bowled at us. In other words, there wasn't much to feed off, so we were looking to get ourselves in, and as it happened, we got ourselves out. Yeah, and I think credit to Krishna, he came back so well, didn't, didn't he? he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, Johnny Bairstow just took him apart in his first couple of overs, and I think when you're on debut, it's really easy to panic. Um, and I don't care who you are, I think you feel that pressure when you get to the top level in most games that you play. Um, but for him to come back the way that he did and finish with four for, and I think he got the Man of the Match award in the end. So um, it was, if you're not an England fan, it was a really lovely story of many stories, actually, in the Indian dressing room, you know, with um, Krunal's debut, yeah. taking 50 on debut and, you know, giving that celebration to his father who just recently passed away and then, like I said, Krishna coming back and taking man of the match after having a, a, a rough first couple of overs. Ah, day for the Indian romantics. Let's hear from Virat Kohli. I've come back from um, all our bowlers, starting from Prasid, actually, you know, going for a, a few runs early on. Everyone did. But then to come back into the game like the way they did was uh, an amazing effort. Krunal as well, 35 plus in the first three, and then to come back and bowl 10 overs under 60 and get one wicket was amazing. Shardul was amazing. Bhuvi was amazing. So, yeah, look, I'm, I'm a really, really proud man right now. The, the team showed great character and in intensity out there. 
Well, Coley's point about it being one of the most satisfying games they've had is very understandable. If you've played at, at, at a high level, you know what it feels like to win a game you're not really thinking you're going to win. That, in other words, you're a long way behind and you, you climb don't you? you climb that ladder and then you get onto that roof and you start to work on the tiles and then you get higher and higher and you start to look down thinking, crikey, we've got a serious chance here, and then you pull it off. That's one of the great feelings in sport, I think, almost better than cruising a game from start to finish. Yeah, and I think they're the, they are the brilliant moments in sport, aren't they? And I think um, pride was the word that Virat Kohli used in his post-match match interview. If you're not a, a, a captain that bowls, you have a certain amount of responsibility to give to other players. So you can make your plans, you can you know, lay everything out in your pre-match reviews and all that, but ultimately you have to give those players the responsibility to execute. And as a captain who doesn't bowl, I imagine that's sometimes hard to do, especially with Virat, who we see is almost like a cartoon on the pitch. Um, so for his young players and inexperienced players, really other than Bhuvaneshwar, it, they've they've done that today, and yeah, that's, they have I think that responded that's, well. Yeah, and I think that's the yeah. pride that Virat yeah. was talking about. That you know he's almost handed it over to his players, and they have done that yeah. for him. Yeah. Okay. Fair point. Well, one of them, without doubt, was Krunal Pandya. I mean, you mentioned the fact that it was a hugely emotional day for him for obvious reasons, and it's I think revealing and in some ways rewarding that the modern player who plays so much cricket earns a great deal of money and could easily take, thing for, take things for granted, clearly doesn't. And, and in the case of Krunal Pandya, well, that was proven by this. Krunal Pandya. Take your time, Krunal. He's super proud of you. We are all proud of you. <laughs> Well, he can't speak. He's so emotional. His father has passed away, so that explains the salute to the, to the heavens. And now he's being interviewed, but he cannot speak. Wow, I mean, he can't speak. You know, that's, that's deep in his soul. That, that's really um, demanding, a demanding moment for him on the back of an excellent performance and a great family tragedy. Has there ever been a moment in your career, I can think of one or two in my way, you really are you're close to tears, either with the joy or sadness of it all. Absolutely, yeah, and I think that's the human side of it that a lot of people don't see, isn't it? And mine, unfortunately, came from the sadness element of it, and um, I kind of fell out of my depth when I was playing for England one day and was in tears on the pitch, um, and that kind of got hidden and pushed away, and no one wanted to see that. Um, but I think that interview was just so powerful, and um, you know, the power of sport, the power of family within sport, I think, is so crucial sometimes, and. Mm. Um, these guys are away from their families so often and mm. um, we take that for granted as sports fans that we get to see them do what we'd want to be doing and, and we get to see that on the television but yeah they sacrifice a lot and I think mm. that really showed in, in Krunel's game and today. it's all exaggerated further by the bubble right now isn't it so yes it, funnily enough out of nothing came an awful lot in that uh, interview that in fact didn't happen with uh, Krunel Pandya but we all saw exactly what the moment meant to him um, right, well, we can turn to brighter things now because Goffey arrived today in a, a, a garment, a piece of clothing to behold. <laughs> Goffey's in front of me. He's culture in his jacket, isn't it? Absolutely. His barber jacket like today that... is just top dollar. Love it. It's a cracker jacket <laughs> of a jacket. Firstly, I'm not related to Van Gogh, and my jacket <laughs> is art. He loves it. He just loves the attention. He soaks it up, doesn't he, that Goffey? <laughs> Yeah, I've, uh, I've not done too much work with him, but he's brilliant. He was telling me all about his uh, Strictly Come Dancing today. We had a good chat about that and, uh, and how he won it and all the money that he earned from the tours. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's an absolute belter, isn't yeah. he? Great. Great to chat. Kate, thanks very much for your time. Uh, that concludes uh, today's Outside Edge. A resounding victory for India, which didn't really look on the cards until, as we've said, till the final sort of 25% of the game. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the show. Don't forget, if so, please like and subscribe from K to 9, all of us here at TalkSport, it's goodbye.